Welcome everyone, my name is Dorota Trapp, I'm a qualified nutritionist from Trapp Cooking School and this is your health tip of the week. Today I want to share with you some useful information about an alkalizing diet. Have you ever noticed that doesn't matter how well you look after yourself, you might still feel tired, sluggish, forgetful, you might have problem to lose weight or possibly you have stiff and inflamed joints. These symptoms can be related to over acidity in the body that can be easily fixed when you adjust your diet. So why not start living with the incredible health, energy, vitality that an alkaline diet brings? Weight loss, beautiful skin, high energy levels, mental clarity are all achievable when adjusting your diet. Maintaining an acid alkaline balance is so vital to our health and knowing exactly which foods to eat and which foods to avoid is absolutely critical to living alkaline. Let's explore what is alkaline diet. In general, the alkaline diet involves eating certain fresh fruits and other low sugar fruits, vegetables, tubes, nuts and legumes. The diet recommends avoiding grains, dairy, meat, sugar, alcohol, caffeine and fungi. Such a diet helps maintain the balance of the slight alkalinity of blood without stressing the body's acidic base homeostasis. Foods are classified as acid forming or alkalizing, depending on the effect they have on the body. These foods that are rich in minerals and in general they are plant-based foods. It is said that you should be having about 80% of alkaline foods and 20% of uh, acidic foods that help your body maintain your homeostasis. Your body is actually alkaline by design but acidic by nature, meaning our breathing, eating, exercising are all acidic and our body is constantly trying to buffer this acid by producing alkaline buffers in our system, for example sodium bicarbonate during digestion. You may wonder how did we become so out of balance and why do we need alkaline foods in our diet? To put it simply, it is a byproduct of our modern life. Some foods have an acidifying effect on our body, usually processed foods, animal sourced foods and those foods containing added sugar, trans fats, preservatives, sweeteners and other added chemicals. You guessed it, <laughs> sweets alcohol, meats, dairy, pizza, cola, biscuits, chips, white breads and pastas and processed foods are of all kinds are stressing our acid alkaline balance. So how do we go about the diet? You should aim to eat 80% alkaline foods and 20% of acidic forming foods. Please check out my blog post to get your free food chart that explains which foods are acid forming and which foods are alkaline. This does not have to be measured in calories, grams or anything technical. Just look at your plate. Is 80% of the food on it alkalizing? And for the other 20%? Think small size serving of animal sourced proteins and substantially larger serving of plant foods of all kinds. It might be very useful for you to see where you are at now and to test your acid and alkaline balance at various stages during your diet. For dietary testing, you can get pH testing kits from the chemist or health food store that will let you see your progression from acidic to alkaline. You should get your results within a few days of following strict alkaline diet. A few weeks of rebalancing your body is enough to get you to adopt healthier eating habits and improve your health through alkalizing your system. This can benefit all of us, but having said that, remember that this diet might not suit everyone. Even if you don't feel the strict diet is something you would do, I suggest still consider adding more alkalizing foods into your daily diet. I encourage you to try alkaline diet and see what it does for you. You can learn how to go about it in my Energize and Alkalize Your Body Cooking class at Trap Cooking School. Thanks for listening. This is Dorota Trap. 
And that was your health tip of the week. For more useful information, visit my blog on dorotatrap.com and subscribe to my newsletter. Thank you. See you next week.